this journey of yoga is not just external, but it's to remember that what we see externally is what's going on in here internally. And that's really, really important. So parigraha means not seizing the opportunity. In other words, don't take advantage of what is presented of you in a way that can cause harm, in a way that's greed-based, right? So that doesn't mean don't take the opportunity. On the contrary, what you need to understand and what is really important is when an opportunity is, when your mind says, as somebody's talking to you, when your mind says, as somebody's sharing something to you, and your mind says, Oh, I don't have enough time. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, that's not for me. Oh, that's not going to work. Oh, that, my friends, is when you should do it. Because that is your ego pushing you down from something bigger than what you really, something bigger than what you're really capable of. But we don't see it that way. We listen to our logical mind. And that's what Parigraha is all about, is coming to that third chakra and all the way up to that fourth chakra and listen with your heart and your feelingness, right? And be careful. If somebody gives you a, a bowl of cookies and says, would you like some? And you see a room full of people and you know that you're the first one, you take one. You take only what is absolutely necessary for you right now because you are confident and have faith that when you need the next cookie or when you need the next food, it'll come. It'll come. But when we take one, oh, since they're free, let me take two, oh, let me take this, what we're doing is we're stopping the flow of energy and we're telling the universe, no faith in myself and I have no faith in you out there right and that's really tough to do that is really tough to do so be careful because when somebody is presenting to you it says unearned rewards bring obligations that will later, later bring problems it's called the law of cause and effect which I explained last time for every action, there is a reaction. For every cause, there is an effect. For every effect, there is a cause. You take three right now. Somebody else will take ten from you next time. You take what you think is free right now. Somebody else will take from you at another point. And it may have a different face, and it may have a different situation, and it may have a different year. But trust me when I tell you that everything is paid for in this world. Everything. So that's what Aparigraha says, is refrain from taking advantage of an opportunity to the to the extent of harm, but know when an opportunity is presented to you and take advantage of that because that might cause you to grow. Might cause you to grow. Let me give you an example. So with what I do, and um, there is, um, I sit and I explain to people, this is really good and this is an opportunity and it is this and it is that. And inevitably somebody will say to me, oh no, no, no. Somebody else tried something like that. That's not for me. Or that I don't have enough time. Time is the easy one. We all have the same amount of time, do we not? In one day, how many hours do we have? 24. So we all have the same amount of time, correct? Except how you use your time and how I use my time is different. Very different. People always ask me, how have you accomplished so much? Because I use my time wisely. 
I use my time in total awareness and total cognizance of where I want to go next. But I know that even though I open myself up to that, I have to be open to anything else that comes that way. Now, let me give you an example. Somebody will say, somebody will say, okay, well, I'm looking, um, I'm looking for a job because I want to be a musician, right? I want to be a musician or I want to be an artist or I want to be a chef, right? So then what happens is, is that the universe will send opportunities because at the same time, this person is asking for money, let's say, okay? And then they don't take that job because they're afraid that if they take that job, then they won't have enough time or enough space or enough availability to, to actually um, do what they want. So now we're doing the opposite of a parigraha. Now we're not taking an opportunity because we're saving ourselves, right? We're saving ourselves. But the universe doesn't work that way. The universe says, you don't know what gift is wrapped up in this opportunity that I'm presenting to you. Right? And let me give you an example. One of my mentors, I love her very much. She was a, um, a superintendent, and then she quit and began to work as an educational consultant, and then from there, she worked as a direct sales person, and she, and, you know, at first, she was just doing things and doing things, and people kept telling her, oh no, the, the more you stray away from this education field, the less opportunity you'll have to come back to it. Come full circle now after 15, 20 years. And she's now educating the most successful people in the world to become successful entrepreneurs. But because she took that, because she went from one place to another, and she one time, one time was sitting in, um, in a plane, right? And she didn't want to go on this trip. And she called and she called the airlines, but guess what? They couldn't cancel her flight, so she got on the flight, right? So she gets on the flight. She didn't want to go, bad energy, blah, 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 anyway. But she closed her eyes and she said, okay, I need to see this with a different mind. And she prayed, let me open my eyes. When I open my eyes, let me see this with a different frame of mind. Let me see this for the opportunity it might be. At that point in time, she opened her eyes. The person that was sitting next to her got up, went to the bathroom. Another person <coughs> came in waiting for the bathroom. The person that was sitting right there next to her owned a multi-billion dollar, let me, let me repeat that, multi-billion dollar company. He sat down, he asked her what she did. She said, and he said, here's my card, call me Monday, I want to hire you. We never know when another opportunity lies behind the first opportunity that has been shown to you right now. Had I not taken this opportunity that I have right now, I mean, that I've been given the opportunity to run this business and to go with this business, I would not be rubbing elbows with some of the most wealthiest people on the face of the earth. And I had a bad, a bad experience over here. I could have said, no, you know what? I've done that kind of stuff before. It didn't work in the past. It's not going to work now. But I didn't. So be careful. Aparigraha says, don't seize... Don't seize the opportunity and take advantage of it, right? In other words, don't go to the, to the tire, let me bring it down very simply. Don't go to the tire store and just because your friend works at the tire store say, hey, échatelas, una, necesito dos, right? Because that, my friends, is a, is a parigraja. That is for self-serving purposes. And when we live from the yo 